Blue Beast Tales by the Paranoid P.I. Pop culture won't save you. I used to think the right diet of movies, music, graphic novels, TV, and video games could unconsciously trigger personal growth and development, a la Manchurian candidate given the right catalyst. An abstruse silver bullet to all ails. However, pop culture won't save you, but it will save a being with you. Pop culture might even eventually get under your skin, but it's a surface-level veneer only. Pay the ticket, take the ride. Hunter S. Thompson, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Tales of Postman Pat inspire reassuring quaint vistas of rural community spirit and cooperation. Game Boy High scores could elicit aspirational dopamine and adrenaline like no other. Drive-ins would offer out-of-car body experiences, transporting you beyond the backed-up boot. Gilliam's Brazil and the Baron can tear open new horizons and existential planes of teenage minds. This is simply a false promise for the revision of morals and ethics from a seductive consumer item seeking to wear away and were you. Pop cultures like fast food, and the low-nutrient content keeps you craving convenient digestion over slow home cooking. Add a series of tiers of exploitation, and pop culture, like fast food, starts to appear less socially and environmentally sustainable. Shop local or grow your own ideas. I was a starved and addicted solo media cosmonaut lost in an ever-evolving stream of stimuli and IP. That was before I found a spark of purpose amongst the frivolity of pleasure, and now write my own. Find out the story behind the story. The few hundred rejections. The maddening midnight hours. The loss of bonds, innocence, and identity. The labor of love spawned from obsession. The mental gymnastics sometimes needed to endure. This is where character is forged, and not just on the page. Growth stems from artists, and their fan base, not the tool used to communicate. It'd be like thanking the instruments for fixing your teeth, and not dentists' artistry at play. Art as tool. Artist a brainsmith. The consumer moldable dough. Watch how artists move when not promoting. Study a fanbase's retort in lieu of no forced sequel. These are the hyperreal moments behind the paywalled hypervision. What about piracy? You pay for it with the oldest currency, your time. A poem is perfect in the mind, much like a consumer good is perfect off the shelf, with the unseen work hours and personal toil veiled behind the wrapper's gloss. Artists who've the luxury to draw their own conclusions almost always have some safety net of connections to bring them to it. It's these relationships that help breathe life into art. While art might take your breath away, there's no single pop culture panacea nor collective algorithm of art that can fully satiate the human condition. Who looks outside, dreams. Who looks inside, awakes. Carl Jung. Try to find the beauty in secrets. Write what you want to hear. Make music of your symbols and characters. Be choosy of company, be it who or what. Become intimate with the interior by listening to others how. And remember, you can't save others, that's their power alone, but you can help understand them.